Hi, good morning. Ellaru eppadi irkinga? I hope you all are reading your bible every day and praying. Before we start the general session, I request Esther Akka to lead us in prayer. அன்புள்ள ஆண்டவரே இந்த இடம் நான் காலை விலைக்காக நன்றி செலுத்திக்கிறோம் மாஜாவே இம்மட்டும் ஜீவன் சுகன் பலத்தந்து எங்களை வழி நடத்துக்காக நன்றி செலுத்திக்கிறோம் மாஜாவே இன்னும் ஆண்டவரே இன்னைக்கு நாங்கள் பாட இருக்கிற பாடல்களாகவும் வச ச ஸ்டோரி மூலமாகவும் எங்களுடைய பிள்ளைகளின் மனத்தில் நீ பேசும்படி ஜெபிக்கிறோம் மாஜாவே இந்த ஆன்லைன் சர்வீஸ் எங்களுடைய ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளுக்கும் புரோஜனம் இரு இருக்கத்தக்கதாக ஆண்டவரே நீர் வழி நடத்தும்படி ஜெபிக்கிறோம் அப்பா ஏசு கிறிஸ்து மூலம் ஜெபிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமேன் So kids are you ready for some action songs so please stand up wherever you are and do the actions for the following songs नहीं है कोई दवा मेरे यीशु का घर 
है बड़ा बड़ा घर मेरे यशु का घर है बड़ा बड़ा घर घर है सोने की राह है सब कुछ है सच्चा वहा सोने का घर है सोने की राह है सब कुछ है सच्चा वहा बापू की क्षमा पाने वालों को यीशु ये देगा जहा बापू की क्षमा पाने वालों को यीशु ये देगा जहा मेरे यीशु का घर है बड़ा बड़ा घर मेरे यीशु का घर है बड़ा बड़ा घर बड़ा बड़ा घर मेरे यीशु का घर बड़ा बड़ा घर है यीशु का घर Job trusts God. About the time that Abraham lived, there was a man named Job. He was a good person who was kind to others. Job also respected God and desired to obey Him rather than sin. Job had seven sons and three daughters and loved each one of them very much. Job was a very rich person. He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, and 500 donkeys. These animals helped him farm his land and trade his goods for other goods from faraway lands. Job also had many, many workers who took care of his animals and crops. Because of all his wealth, Job was the greatest person in his part of the world. Job's children enjoyed spending time together, so they would get together often to celebrate special days, like birthdays. Their celebrations involved big feasts and a good time together. Job wanted his children to honor God with their lives, so he would make a sacrifice to God the morning after the feasts, just in case one of his children had sinned. 
Job didn't want any sin to come between his children and God. One day, while the angels were presenting themselves to God, Satan came too. God asked Satan, Where have you been? Satan answered, eh, Traveling the earth back and forth. God said, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a man who treats others kindly, respects me, and hates evil. Does Job fear you for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not kept bad things from happening to him, his family, and all his goods? You have blessed his hard work by allowing him to increase his possessions. Why wouldn't he obey you? But now, take away what he has and see how he reacts. I think he will curse you to your face. And God said, Okay, Satan, all that he has, I will let you take from him. Only do not touch his body. Then Satan left to trouble Job. Later, a messenger came running up to Job and said, The Sabaeans stole your oxen and donkeys and killed your servants. I am the only one who escaped. Then another servant came to Job and said, Lightning struck your sheep and the servants watching them, and I am the only one who survived. Then yet another servant ran up and said, Three raiding parties of Chaldeans stole your camels and killed your servants, and I'm the only one who escaped. Still another servant hurried up to Job and said, A strong wind struck the house where your sons and daughters were feasting, killing them all. I'm the only one who survived. Then Job stood up, tore his robe, shaved his head, fell to the ground, and worshipped God. He said, I didn't have anything when I came into this world, and I can't take anything with me when I die. The Lord gave me a lot, and the Lord has taken it away. But God is still good and right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job did not sin by blaming God for losing nearly all he had. Meanwhile, Satan came before God again. So God asked him, Now where have you been? Satan replied, traveling back and forth across the earth. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a kind and good person who respects me and hates evil? Did you notice Job trusted me even though he lost most of his goods and all his children? Satan said, A man would do anything to keep from dying. If you make Job sick, I know he will get mad at you and curse you to your face. The sickness will show that he does not really trust you. The Lord said, Okay, you have my permission to make Job sick, but the sickness cannot be so bad that it kills him. So Satan left and made Job sick with painful sores over his whole body from head to toe. Job was in constant pain and misery. Nothing he could do made him feel better. Finally, Job went outside his city and sat on a pile of ashes to show how much sorrow he felt. There he picked up pieces of broken pottery to scrape his skin to try to stop the terrible itching he felt. Job's wife blamed God for her husband's problems. She came to Job and asked, Do you still trust God? Curse him for allowing all these bad things to happen to you and then die. Your life isn't worth living anymore. But Job said to his wife, What you are telling me to do is foolish. Should we accept good things from God and not bad? While Job sat on the ash pile scraping his sores, he did not say a single bad word against God. He believed that God is always good and always does what is right. We can trust God too. No matter what happens to us, God is always good.
chapter 15. Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent, who may live on your holy mountain, the one whose walk is blameless, who does what is right, who speaks the truth from their heart, who does, who stunks, who tongues utter no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a wild person but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts but, but does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent, whoever does these things will never be shaken. Thank you. Psalm 103, 1 to 15, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is written in it, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and uh, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with uh, good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord is righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and uh, he acts like the children of the Israel. The Lord is um, the Lord is merciful and gracious. Uh, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our um, sin, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him as as uh, the east is from the west so far has he mercy mercy toward removed our transgression from us as a father pities his children so the lord pities those who are uh, fear him for he knows uh, for he knows his uh, frame, our, our frame, frame. He remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, uh, as a flower for the field, so he flourishes. Thank you. Psalms 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long should I wrestle with my thoughts and have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy trump over me? Answer me when I call to you, O Lord. Give light to my eyes or else I will sleep in death. My enemy says I, will, I have overcome him. My foes rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love and your salvation. I will praise the Lord for he has been good to me. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Psalms chapter 134. Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who ministers by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from the Zion, who, who is the maker of heaven and earth. Thank you. John fifteen thirteen, greater love has no one than this man. He lay his life for his friends. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for this beautiful morning general session that you helped us have. Oh Father Lord, thank you for teaching us from the life of Job how we should trust you, no matter what our situations be. Oh Lord. Help us to always depend on you. Always praise your name, O oh Father Lord. Father, even though situations may not look very beautiful around us, O oh Father, but always help us to remember that you are our God who is watching over us, taking care of us, protecting us all the time, O oh Father. Thank you, O oh Lord, and help us to always remember to put our trust in you and you alone, O oh Father, Lord. Lord, the rest of the time I give it into your hands, O oh Father. Bless all the dear children, O oh Father, Lord, who are watching this general session. Bless them abundantly. Let this week be a wonderful week for them, a blessed week for them. Bless them in their studies. 
studies bless them in their spiritual life help them to grow every day closer to you o oh father once again i commit all of them and their families and all of us into your mighty hands until we meet again may your presence come along with us lead us and guide us in jesus most precious and mighty name i ask and pray amen என் ஆத்மாவே கத்திரே ஸ்தோத்ரி என் முழுலமே அவர் பரிசுத்த நாமத்தை ஸ்தோத்ரி என் ஆத்மாவே கத்திரே ஸ்தோத்ரி அவர் செய்த சகல உபகாரங்களையும் வரவாதே ஆமேன்